Hey guys, just wanted to do a really quick follow-up to the helm build that I did the other day. So it felt really rushed, didn't it? I mean, trying to squeeze all that history into four minutes while also doing a helm build, uh, it might have been a little bit too much. So today, before moving on to bigger and better projects, just wanted to look at the helm uh, one more time and share my thoughts about it, things that worked, things that maybe could have been a little bit better, and then uh, also talk to you about future projects, upcoming projects that I've got planned. Uh, might go into that just a little bit here. Uh, in terms of the helmet itself, overall, it's not bad. Um, you know, it's a first try for me in terms of helmets. I don't know why, but I've never tried to make a helmet before. And started with this one, it's pretty simple. I mean, it's got, I think, seven plates, uh, four in the, two in the front, two in the back, top, it's five, six, seven. So seven plates and uh, something like 30 something rivets. So a really easy project. Um, you could build this yourself actually and I probably should do a full tutorial. Uh, you don't need a fancy anvil or anything like that. All you need are the rivets, the steel. Uh, you can get those at your hardware store. The rivets, I get these from Centerforge. Um, so you could build this really easily with just basic tools and uh, it's not a difficult one to complete at all. Um, but I'd like to also do some more complicated helmets in the future. Before we talk about that, let me just mention a few things with this helmet. Now this is based on the Mesajowski or Mukayovsky Bible. Uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but something like that. Um, it's a Bible that was owned by a 16th century cardinal and it does depict uh, 13th century knights and their helmets which have a very unique shape, very distinctive. Um, one thing about it is it wasn't simply a barrel, it actually did flare up in the back just a little bit. It flared out. I was somewhat limited by the dimensions of the top. Uh, if the top had come back a little further, uh, there would have been more of a pronounced flare here and uh, I guess I would have liked to have done that. Um, and then maybe a second criticism here would be the breadths. They go all the way to the back or at least you know halfway to the back and that is seen on some of the depictions uh, in the artwork but really on no surviving examples from the 13th century that I can think of so it may be more of artistic license could a person wearing this helmet hear a little bit better having uh, breaths that extended beyond the front part of the helmet. In any case, um, maybe that was a little excessive there. Maybe I should have left those off. It's not the most classic shape in the world for a knight. Certainly is not. In fact, when you think of knights, you're probably thinking of an armit. You know, so this big uh, barrel type of helmet is probably not the most iconic. Um, but I still think, you know, it's nice. It's nice looking. So what do we have coming up? Well, I'm starting to work on a uh, on a pattern here. Whenever I cut something out of steel, I want to make sure I have a pattern first. So this is an armament, uh, and it's just the beginning. I mean, it doesn't probably look like anything at this point, but um, this is the front of the helmet. It's definitely got more complicated lines and angles there, so uh, that should be interesting. Um, but that's probably not the very next uh, thing I'd like to try. In fact, I want to make something that you can follow along with. So instead of just uh, recreating another tutorial for exactly this helmet, I'm going to do something just a little bit different, but definitely will be a medieval helmet, um, one that I think is pretty cool looking. It may not be the very next upload that I do. All right, so that's all I've got for you today. Appreciate you watching, and uh, please check back soon. I should have a lot more uploads this month, and uh, I will talk to you later.